Hey friends, what's up? Welcome to today's video. So, yes, new hair, getting ready for St. Patty's Day and my birthday, which is March 5th. And my hair is real wild today, but it's perfect because I'm reviewing Wet n Wild products, new things that just came out, some of the old Wet n Wild products. But if you guys want to see this look and you guys want to hear my review on the products and what I think about them, then please continue watching. All right, you guys, so since... um. I didn't see any new Wet n Wild eyeshadow uh, quads or palettes. I'm going to be using not a basic peach. I've used this a ton. I've put a dent in this. But they did have new liquid cat suit shimmer liquid eyeshadows. And they had like cream ones. I didn't get the cream ones. I'm not a big fan of cream eyeshadows. But I will try them out if you guys want me to. This one is called Fairy Tale Ending. And I'm going to be putting this on. So I'm actually going to speed up the eye process because it's nothing that you guys haven't seen before. I'm basically just going to be putting in a, a crease and a base. That way I can use this new Catsuit Shimmer. And I have some other Wet n Wild products that I will be using as well. My feelings on safety So I don't go shooting We are be Cause you take the bullet Trying to save me Then I'm left to do What make it easy And that's a whole lot of love Ain't trying to waste it Like we be running them out And never make it That's just too bitter for words Don't wanna taste it That's just too bitter for words Don't wanna face it I think that I'm done tripping I'm tripping I'm getting skipping That's how I can drop this feeling Alright, so we have the eyes done, and Wet n Wild recently came out with some 3-in-1 Primer Water Prep Set Refresh Sprays, and this one is coconut, so I'm just going to prep my skin with this. And I do have, like, serum and things like that on my skin already. That smells so good. Wow. And I'm still going to throw on just a regular primer. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Okay, so Wet n Wild also recently came out with new foundation sticks. But I, um, I don't know. I just don't like foundation sticks. They usually don't work very well for me. So I did pick up a new Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade Mocha because um, I had cocoa and it really wasn't my shade. And then they also came out with blenders, and they are so cute. So I did already wet one, and it did uh, get to a nice size. It's really soft. So um, I'm going to be putting my foundation on with the sponge. And this looks a bit orange, but we'll see. So far, I am liking the sponge. Not really feeling the shade of foundation, because as you guys can see, I am really like red orange. So I'm hoping that it calms down, because I haven't used this um, foundation in a while, but it is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. 
and I think it might oxidize so it may calm down here's hoping all right so I'm still pretty orange red like you guys can see my neck doesn't match this is probably going to be a wonderful summer shade but i'm going to correct that with concealer and i don't have the wet n wild concealer anymore so i'm just gonna throw on a concealer really quickly here but this product this is the loose setting powder so this is like their translucent powder but this is in the shade banana and I feel like no one is talking about this. No one is reviewing this. So um, I'm going to be trying this out. I'm really excited about it. You get a really generous size container. So let's throw on some concealer and blend that in really quickly. And by the way, this is just my Makeup Revolutions Concealer in C12. It's really extremely light, but I think that'll help correct how orange I am. You guys, I'm really loving this Wet n Wild sponge. And this translucent powder is really soft. Well, banana powder, but it's really, really soft. We're going on really smooth. And I believe this was like five bucks. The sponge was like three, three and some change. Wow, this is really pretty. Okay, wet and wild. I'm loving this. I think I'm going to set my face with this powder as well because it is kind of calming down that orange that I've got going on. Plus, I really like this powder. It's going on so smooth and it is matte. So I'm just going to contour real quick and throw on some brush, some brush, some blush really quickly. And then we'll get into the highlight and the lip color. All right, you guys. So you know that I love the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powders. And they have more shades out. So this one is called You Glow Girl. And it is like a pinky kind of rose goldy shade. So we're going to pop that on. Wet n Wild also recently came out with a lot of new liquid lipsticks and high shine gloss lipsticks. And this one is from the Rebel Rose collection. So this is the high shine liquid cat suit. And this is in the shade Petal Poison. I am going to pop on a little lip liner first. Now you guys know that I usually don't go with something glossy. But I'm feeling this. I'm feeling the color and the look. And it's not sticky at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my face also with the coconut spray. Alright, you guys. So, this is the completed look. And I am here for it. Okay, you guys. Do not sleep on Wet n Wild. They have really stepped their game up. And their products are so affordable but wonderful, wonderful quality. I think this look came out stunning very wearable for everyone I feel like so I can't complain about anything that I used in this video um, just like the foundation color was a little off but now I don't think that it looks bad now that everything's on I think it looks amazing I loved the new wet n wild sponge Alexis Jada thank you for your recommendation on that you guys if you haven't tried out the photo focus translucent powder or banana powder whichever one if you find it, grab it because it is like a high-end translucent powder. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you aren't missing out on any more of my videos. I have tons of reviews coming up for you guys. And also, don't forget to put a smile on your face because it is truly the best makeup you can wear. I love you guys, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. I know you're